Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I'm your guy. I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. Today, I'm going like to talk to you of another underrated film that you need to check out. And it's available to watch for free on YouTube. And this is the second time I've watched this film. And I am mesmerized and I by this movie. And I really, really liked it. Um, Yeah, it's presented by Studio Ghibli. And I actually remember uh, when I went to the Tower Theater, they show this trailer quite a few times. Uh, Tower Theater in Sacramento. And this is the um, the Red Turtle with no known cast. But this is a Dutch animated film with, uh, I think it was produced by Studio Ghibli. And I think they... I think they Love the concept of this film. This is a very unique fantasy film. This film is based off a, I believe it's based off a book. And it's a story centered around a man who is, who, who's stranded on a remote island and tries to escape until he meets a red turtle that pretty much keeps him on the island that supposedly and does change, changes his life. And this is a unique film. This is a uh, this is a very experimental fantasy film. I think to a uh, I think to a to a to a degree where I think you de- really that I think you really need to be open to uh, what goes on into this film. There's first off. For fantasy films, sometimes there are things that do happen into the film where there's not really any explanation. In fact, it it would not surprise me if this is a children's novel because it feels like it is. It feels like something you would read or maybe some sort of animated film you will watch as a kid and it just stuck with you for whatever reason this film feels it has some sort of nostalgic vibes to it Uh, so when fantasy does happen when the fantasy elements do happen into the film it feels like a fable tale but it it, it, there's no explanation as to why things just happen Uh, honestly that's a perspective of i think life i like to believe in where things do happen where they don't have some sort of explanation the mysteries of life offers to you Um, so the film begins with a man who is suddenly and i think the film is set somewhere during the 18th or 19th century you're not really given a timeline but there's old boats barrels I'm pretty much assuming it's in that timeline where this man is washed up on, uh, on shore. You don't know the, uh, the, the, the man's name. You don't know really any of the character's name. And that's not really the point of the film. Uh, the film, once this man washes up on an island, he tries to figure out a way to escape, builds a couple of bo- boats. But somewhat, for whatever reason, something keeps knocking down his boat and keeps breaking it and basically forcing him to stay on that island. And it turns out it is a big red sea turtle. Awesome looking turtle. So when he catches the turtle or I wouldn't necessarily say take it out, but hold it accountable for him to stay on the island, things start to happen where the turtle turns into a woman, a human woman. And, well, they have a life together. And I think what the film is trying to say of a, um, is, and I think, I'm not trying to go religious here, but, I think what the film is trying to say is that the greatest purpose of any of any family or anybody is to 
live life peacefully, have a family, um, teach your uh, next generation how to love, how to survive. You're given, I, 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 I would say, maybe a brief time chronicling those years of this man when he meets this turtle and turns into a woman. And I know it sounds silly, but it's fantasy, man. You just kind of have to go with it. And I actually like the mystery that that, that dives into this fantasy. I'm 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 really loving the style of of, of this animation. Of um, it's two D. Like I actually miss that kind of style of animation, uh, where it's there's there no there's no dialogue, and I love that they allow the visuals to tell the story. And it feels very, you know, easily to understand where it's basically just this man having a family and you see the beauty of it. You see the beauty of just two people just living their lives peacefully, uh, despite some unfortunate national disasters that do happen. But I think what the film is really trying to say is that at least for I don't want to, at least for a man a good a, the, the true the true purpose for a man is to have a family and it's a beautiful thing and honestly i would believe this film has more significance in our current times because of the current degrade culture that's uh, been propagated here in this modern world. And I think this is a film that really does bring back that true essence of, I wouldn't necessarily say gospel, but the uh, true meaning of humanity's purpose. Uh, the animation is breathtaking. I love that there's really, I mean, there's some music in here. I mean, they play kind of the same notes of music over and over again, which gets a little repetitive, but um, I don't know, maybe budgetary reasons but uh, who knows <laughs> but what i really really enjoyed is how the minimal dialogue and then i kind of like how the visuals just tell the story where you don't know and you can't even predict what's going to happen next because it's fantasy i love the mystery behind it and i love and it's actually kind of tragic how it ends but it but it's also there's a beauty to it at the same time where i won't spoil how it ends but like i said it's like a cycle of life where you see something begin and then you see it end and it's a beautiful touching um moment to be honest with you it it was something i believe was um at least for me and I, I think this is kind of why I don't necessarily watch a lot of animated movies now these days. I mean, it's just a tough sell for me. Especially, and this is what I miss about it when I was growing up watching um, these uh, animated films. There's some sort of spirituality that 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 was resonating with the, in these movies. And they really had a, even if you didn't get the message right away, there was something about it that was very philosophically relatable and had meaning and there was mystery behind it but it was something that was just beautiful at the same time something that felt like love and a loving message uh, and I don't know what's the best way to describe it but uh, at least that's the best way I, I, I feel it feels like there's their soul into this film. 
And it's very unique. I mean, you have a turtle that turns into a one. <laughs> but then, you know, they have this love life story and it's just beautiful. I mean, again, I don't think this is going, going to be for everybody because, again, this movie has no dialogue. At all for 80 minutes. And that might turn a lot of people off. I mean, I won't lie to you. You, you kind of have to just... And this is... Yeah, it's like... I mean, 2001 had dialogue, but not enough for a two and a half hour film. I mean, this is 90 minutes. So this is something I think you kind of want to have to, uh, well, be open minded for a visual story. But The Red Turtle, have you seen it? Comment below. Let me know if you have. And let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.